It will take a minute the way I feel. Hello, 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 everybody. And how are we? Just going to let some people ride in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Whew, it's been that kind of week. How's everybody been? It's been one of those ones that you have had to press through. And um, I'm grateful, 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 grateful. Start of another week and another month. So looking forward to that. This was supposed to be my last live for this month. But um, I might be having two more into the next month. So keep an eye out. But I trust everybody's well and everybody's fine. Thank you to all those that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, thank you to all those that come on and, you know, give me feedback, encourage me. Those of you that have encouraged, that really send me those messages to encourage me and have called me, I really, really do appreciate them. Um, this is ministry for me. So um, it's not surprising when you have to do certain things and you do get attacked and you do get all that things that's stopping you from doing this thing that you want to do. I didn't think I was going to be on beyond today, um, but I pressed on and I pushed on and I'm determined because somebody might need to hear something that's said today that might be some sort of encouragement, some sort of, you know, something uplifting and some, you know, a little bit of wisdom. So, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Swami Networks. God bless you. Thank you for coming. So, yeah, so we're pushing through. Um, you know, this, like I've said, is not ministry. It's ministry to me. So it is, it is a lot when it comes on to doing this. So people just think sometimes you're just coming on to chat. Um, it's beyond just chatting. It is a platform for us to come and speak and vocalize the kingdom of God because the other kingdom is shouting and loud and we don't have to be polite and I'm not going to be polite about my faith. Um, so this is what Floor TV is about. Um, I see God taking me down roads that I haven't planned, but because I have made myself available, he's opening doors that I don't go knocking. He's giving me favor and he's just, you know, encouraging me to do more. And that's part of today. Um, I'm going to be speaking to a lady too that has, you know, when I speak with her too, she really does encourage me. She really does really give me that oomph that, you know, what we're doing right now, what we are living this kingdom life, it is, it is good. And we should stay encouraged. And even though everyone else is making noise out in the world and doing their thing, you know, I say, focus on your focus. Keep your eyes on the word. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Um, and he will lead you. He will direct you. He will encourage you. He will empower you. And others will look to you and follow and use that word follow properly. Um, this month we've been talking about mentors and influencers and today we're going to be talking about leadership um, because that one inf that's another word for an influencer. An influencer is a, lead is a leader um, and it sets the tone and, and people follow you. So the question is what are you what are people what are you leading people to um, and what are what are people following you towards? Um, recently I came across um, a Nigerian musician that very popular and he was playing in a in a in a I think a European concert so he's singing in a language that people don't understand and people were curious about two words that he used and he was repeating those words and they were you know there was a is a is a is a they were calling it back and he would say it and they would respond there was a call and response and he would say the word and they would respond in speaking a language they have no understanding a lot of them did not know what he was saying but what he was saying was encouraging something 
that is not necessarily if it was said in English um, people would be appalled but people followed him and said this thing and repeated it and this was being resonated into the atmosphere every time I watched this and I just thought that is the power of influence he has got their attention they are drawn by his artistry his musicality his performance and his excellence because even when he's doing it he's doing it with excellence and people are drawn to that and people are drawn to what other people are drawn to and if you do not have that girth in yourself and know yourself you will be drawn to so today we are going to be talking again continues on influencers and i'm going to bring in my guest she just got in here now i'm going to invite hey, i'm going to invite um, hello. hello i am just introducing you a little bit here i'm just going to introduce you to my guest no you're <laughs> going to introduce yourself i'm just going to set it up <laughs> You know, I was just talking about, you know, using this platform as a, as a platform yeah. of outreach. I know we use that word outreach, but really that's what it is, is reaching yeah. out to people with this gift that we have yeah. in whatever sphere that we are in um, and talking about it. And, and it was just a beautiful thing. We, we, we got to know each other off during the pandemic and, you know, and I was drawn to your page about how, you know, giving us the history of your faith and your journey um, was just so inspiring to me. And, 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 and we kicked off, you know, a friendship and a yes. relationship and a heart for the Lord, you know, there. Um, so, so you're definitely, for me, I, I know you don't like that word because when I said it to you, it's like, I call it like the accidental influencer, <laughs> but you are an influencer and I love the way you responded and go, you responded back and said, no, I'm a leader. And I was like, yes, you are a leader. And that is what an influencer is. An influencer steps in front and leads people and people follow you. So the question is, where are you leading people and what are they following you towards? So without much ado, how much ado, please introduce okay. all, yourself you, to Angie, the people. <laughs> And thank you to those who have jumped on. I can see that Elijah has jumped on, who's a very good friend of mine. Um, who am I? My name is Andrea Simpson. Um, I live in South London. My parents are what they call Windrush generation um, people. They came here. My dad came in the late 50s. My mum in 1961. They met and married here in England, London, England, for those that are tuning in. Um, they uh, settled in, near Brixton in South London, which is where I still live. And like, you know, there's that can any good thing come out of Brixton, you know, because it has a bad reputation. But, but, but... Not anymore, <laughs> you can't, you can't, I good think, things are definitely I coming out of Brixton. <laughs> I was here, I was a teenager. I, was, I lived through that, those difficult times and that's kind of stuck. It has changed tremendously beyond recognition um so yeah so i grew up in south london um i i have one sister my parents schools um so i had that 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 influence from a young age unusual um uh so then i went my own way prodigal living i had my son who's an adult i had a i've got a son adult son and um i became born again uh 29 years ago i was just in my 20s and uh, my son was well about coming up to three at the time and Sis, can you do me a favor so that I can get you in the right yeah, frame? Can you just, tilt your camera down a bit so I can get your full frame? Let me just lower it. I'll do lower that. it down so, until. How's that? Just so lower it down just, just a little, little bit so I can get you in. Yeah, down the, I think it perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that's so perfect. That's me, you yes. know, Andrea, as I say, from um, South London. But most importantly, it is about who I am in Christ. That's who I am in the natural. You know, but I always focus on who I am in Christ because that's where I 
our identity is found in him you know so um that's the intro to to who i am so yeah that that's me i mean thank you i mean like i said before thanks for that thanks for what cuz what i said before i've been an unexpected influencer i know you have a cake business and i i need you to tell us just in, let let people know how okay, you ke- so, came upon that cake business yeah i mean you called the cake the cake ministry because baking no, is not no, your no, first it's, it's not your first thing now if anybody's watching can you just if the screen is frozen because my screen is frozen i know harriet's just your it's a bit pro- it's a bit frozen here i can oh, okay. see you're moving it's better now okay no it's still is it still frozen it's okay Yes, she has got an amazing cake business. Thank you very Harry, much. Spark transformation <laughs> said that. And she's got love she has got a, a, a fantastic. Yes, she has. Uh, what happened? I do my agree. She taught me how to bake when we were children. My sister loves anything baking, cooking, she loves all that. So, she taught me how to bake art. I have, I I really like making things. My dad was a builder. He encouraged me. So, he encouraged me to use my hands. um and just keep trying you know so like art as well and i always like to make things with pottery everything anything to do with my hands so i learned how to bake from my sister and then i i naturally like art anyway that's just a gift from god because i'm self taught um and so uh long story short i used to bake cakes and bring them to the office and things like that and back in 1995 god told me that i would be leaving my job and going into full time ministry and i told my colleagues that that would be happening um and uh it took 18 years for that to come to pass so 2013 i left my job i used to work for lambeth council in the housing department and left my job and not knowing knowing that god had said i was going to go into ministry but not knowing how what that was going to and i thought i'd leave my job go straight into full time ministry but that didn't happen what happened is this is that god he didn't delay he, i his i expected things to happen sooner he had an appointed time always has has an appointed time like so um i i ran out of money basically i had redundancy money i had some savings everything ran out i was down to zero and i was very very depressed and i said to god i cannot live like this i don't know from one day to the next how I'm going to manage and the script you know the, the uh, give us this day our daily bread actually came alive it's like I was living daily 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 and one day my son said to me mum you bake why don't you set up a business and I said no son it's not something that I want to do you know I just have to wait on god and see what he does my son completely ignored me and behind my cuz he can bake as well he he said okay I'll I'll do it then I didn't think he was serious but then he, what he did behind my back was get business cards done put me- a message on facebook he called the business mr g wow. mr g's cakes which is his nickname mr g because his surname is greenish so he says mr g <laughs> and then he came to he came to me in july yeah 2016 6 years ago and said mum um we've got our first order and i'm like how can we have our first order? i said what have you done son So I made he told me what he had done and then I made a cake for one of his one of his friends and um that's how I started to bake professionally. I'm registered now, fully self-employed, fully inspected by local authority and um and paying taxes and um <laughs> you know the tax man <laughs> your your fully yeah, fledged your fully fledged business so fully right? running and so um <laughs> absolutely it's not a, it's not a side hustle it's the main is the main thing oh, was showing me was you me. know so then it changed i changed i rebranded so that- in 2020 just before to to the to the cake ministry but the, the screen is is it i don't is the screen frozen at your end because it's completely it's still frozen what do you want to swap phone over phone? to your ipad Okay, what I'll do. I'll Mine is not. Over. It's I'll yours. So do you want to swap over to your iPad? And yeah, do it that way because I think it might be much Okay. Easier. Yeah. So that we can right. see your face. Good. Yes, please. Thank you very much for your transformation. I hear the whole okay, vision. Sometimes we don't sometimes we are not just a... Yeah, do it that way because I think it might be much easier. 
Sometimes we are just not as bold to step out. And it is so good. And that is a grace to have somebody around you that can see your vision. That can see your vision and actually run with it. We don't always get that. So God bless your son there that just, you know, he saw it and he said, you know what, let's do this. We need people around us that are ready to support us and, and, and you know, pull out, pull out the, the, the vision, pull out the thing in us and, and having the right people around you um, that can see your worth and see what is in you and are ready to pull it out and make you see it. And that itself is a grace from God. So, yes. So while we wait for her to come on, I just wanted to talk about that. You know, um, it's, it's, it's always it's very it's not always often that you see people around you that see the thing that God has got for you. So it's really, really important. Who have we got on? Anne-Marie. Um, OK, Anne-Marie, let's quickly have a chat while she comes on. I think Anne Marie. Hi yeah. Anne Marie. I, I don't know. You, I thought you wanted to jump on. I was just gonna wait for aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi Waka Flix. How are you? Welcome. We're just waiting for Andrea to come back on and then we'll talk about that. So we're just talking about taking our influence into the marketplace and how we how we influence the marketplace hi amory yes you just couldn't you couldn't come on at that time that's fine i'm just waiting on uh -huh. i think she's back on Can you see me now? Very much so. Okay. Don't worry, whoever needs to get blessed today is going to get blessed because the last couple of days, I didn't even think I was going to be able to be on today. But, on. you know, it's been, it's been a grace. So we are going to do it because it, it, I'm done with things having to be perfect. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why my why why the show is called the flaw it's called flawed i picked flawed because perfection is not in us perfection is in god and he makes us um it is in the it is in the imperfection that he sees the beauty in us so um when things don't go as they should i i, I don't i don't stress anymore i just know what needs to happen needs to happen and who needs to hear it will hear it God gives us gifts and talents to influence the marketplace as his mouthpiece to the earth. Thank you so much. You've gone ahead of me because that's exactly my question to you. Um, how, as an unexpected influencer, do you think you, you, affect, you, you, you affect the space, your market space? And when we say marketplace, for just those that don't understand, as Christians, everywhere is the marketplace. Everywhere outside of your home, everywhere there's a, trans there's a transaction going on is a marketplace, is how you're transacting with people, conversations, interactions, is the marketplace as far as I'm concerned. Anywhere that is your space of influence is your market space. So how would you think, how would you say you have been able to um, use your influence in the marketplace? I, I, I think you said unexpected influencer. I, think I, I, said, I said unexpected because when time I talk to you about it, it's like, the whole influencing thing for you is like, no, I'm not that. I don't want to be, you know, because. I think I've always been an influencer. I think since I can remember since quite a young age, because I don't know why. I just, you know, that's just a gift, I think. Um, so I think now as a, as a believer, it's about Christ. It's about showing his love to the world. And. It's, it's it's not so much, it's not always about what we say it's what we do as well and it's not always about doing things right we make mistakes you know and but it's acknowledging though that's also a witness I've done something wrong I'm sorry that's a witness as well you know so um, 
I think it's just as, as you know, as God leads, as the Spirit leads us to people to touch the lives of others. Um, it might be something that we say. It might be something that we do. It might be in, if, if people say with the cake, they can taste the love because I, I bake with love and they can taste the love. And then that leads to another conversation, you know. And so, there's, you know, there's all, I think there's always opportunities to um, share the love of God, you know, and to testify about his goodness to others. Um, and yeah, that makes us influencers, that makes us leaders. We are the light of the world, the salt of the earth. That's what we are created to do, to bring glory to God. Um, so I can see Harriet said Andrea's been an influencer in her life since she moved to England. Okay, thank you for that, Harriet. So, you know, it's, um, that's what it's about. It's about a life touching another life. It can be, you know, one, one person reach another person, reach another person. Um, and, just, you know, let's just be who I am in Christ. Some people are going to like that and some people are not going to like it. But as long as God is happy, that's all I'm really concerned about. Um, it's easy to, you know, and God has to deliver, to, to deliver me from that people-pleasing thing. And sometimes there's a root of that still there in me, you know. Um, and it is, it, you don't want to be so flippant that you say, oh, I don't care what people think, because there may be something that's quite valid about how they think and how they feel. But then I take that to God and say, Lord, show me if I'm wrong, you know, or confirm if I'm right, because there's times when you have to just press on, you know. So it's about being sensitive to other people, but most importantly, being sensitive to God and leading of the Holy Spirit. And, and he calls us to be influencers. He calls us to be, as I say, the light of the world and the thought of the earth. That doesn't mean that we, are, as he is perfecting us, as he is perfecting his character in us, the good, the bad, the ugly, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. I've been a Christian 29 years, you know, and there's, 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 there's still areas that God is working on. There's still areas that I have to pray about, you know. You know? I, think, I think two things. First of all, the name of your business is called The Cake Ministry. So that definitely is presenting yourself. That's already an opening conversation. I mean, how many times has people said, what? What do you mean by the cake ministry? Have you got that? I mean, that itself is an invitation for conversation. It is, because I think people recognize from the name that it is faith-based. It's not just about cake. It, it, it is about cake, but you're sharing the love of God to people through the cake. So the, the, I've had customers just call me because they want to talk. They don't even want a cake. They've got something that they're going through, and they just want someone to talk to. It isn't just about that. But if, if they hadn't been a customer and ordered the cake, that connection would never have been made. So cake, the cake is the hook. The cake opens the door. And I realized recently, I was re I'm reading the Old Testament again, and I think the, cake, the word cake is, is mentioned close to 70 times, about 60-something times. A cake of figs, cake, cake, bake this. And, you know, and I said, Lord, look at that. So cake is about celebration. People have a cake, they have a celebration. And we know, you know Jesus performed his first miracle at a wedding. And so to have a cake as part of someone's celebration to be part of that is a, is a privilege for me. And then to connect with some, I have met some amazing people through the cakes and they have touched my life more than they will ever know, I think. And then to, to have that door open and then to be able to share my faith and encourage other people is a blessing, you know, and a privilege. And, and, and I thank God for that. So it is all linked in, hence the name The Cake Ministry, because I didn't know what to call the minute the business. I met someone and she said, "Oh, she was." I was telling her about the business, and she said, "I said it's not just a business; it's actually a ministry." And she said, "The Cake Ministry," and that's how it, the the name came about. So if so, I, if someone had told me, even if God had told me I'm going to be going into ministry a few years ago and it's going to be a cake ministry, I would have laughed. <laughs> you know, I would have laughed. Uh, because it's it's some things like cake ministry how you I know, know i know i know but here i am here i am for now. And, and and that and that is that is definitely been a opportunity I, I like what you said as well um it's not just in what we say we do is how we do because we are a work in progress we are i tell i said to somebody i said if God just wanted us to get saved and go straight to heaven, he won't keep us here. So the fact that we're here means there's something we're working out. We're working out or we're learning to, we're, it's, it's so many things. One, he's, he's working us out and he's 
fine tuning and making us better. And then he's, t- he's we're learning as well about how to how we are going to live. It's a trial because you're living sustain, like you said it. We're living totally reliant on him, or that is what the goal should be. Um, totally trusting his word, totally trusting him, being set apart people. So it means that you, you, everyone's not going to get you, and everyone shouldn't. Um, and I'm not going to apologize for it. Neither am I going to be rude. Um, but I'm going to be confident in whose I am and what he says I am. And I'm going to conduct myself in that way, meaning the good, bad, and ugly. How do I handle when I am not in a good place? How do I handle when I am in a good place? How do I handle when I'm worried? And those for me are what people look at. And like you said, sometimes people call businesses and they're not calling to do anything, but just the way you say hello, you don't know. You you position yourself. Um, people will say, you know, how is God going to help the world? We're waiting on God. God is waiting on us to create something that he can get involved in. So you have your cake ministry. You've created something for him to pass through, you know, um, and, 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 and that's that, you know, so that's it. How do you impact the space? Like you've told me, how do you impact your own space, though? Um, the spaces. So you've, you've impacted them, we said, with relationships and things like that. Um, and what are people, so, so for you, what else would your ministry be beyond the cakes? How are you leading people? How are you leading people? Because like you said, you've always been an influencer. And for me, I, 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 I want us to, I use those words because it's something I want to gain back the power. Words like influencers, words like followers, I need it to be, re- to be taken back to the original things. Influencers are leaders. Followers, the word followers mean that they're people that are mentees, that are being led by a mentor. You're going somewhere. You're being led somewhere. And that somewhere is to someone. So the way it is being used now So it's a point where we that are supposed to be using those words shy away from those words because of what it, you know, what it's, what it's saying. I'm not, oh, I'm not an Instagram, whatever, but I'm like, but you're an influencer in your business. You're an influencer wherever you go. People are watching you, you know, um, what Elijah is saying. And let me see what, because Elijah just said something. It's the process of sanctification being perfected in love. Absolutely, that we're here. Yeah. Impact our sphere of influence, pointing people towards Jesus as the only way. And how are they going to experience that is in how we conduct ourselves and how we do business, how we interact, mm-hmm. you know. So what do you think is the rest? Of, I know we've spoken a lot about it. So what's your responsibility as an influencer? What would you say are your responsibilities? I know we've touched on a bit of it. Yeah, in a, in a practical way, it's to, to, to um, let me go let me go back and I go back to, to my childhood. And my dad was a big influence in my life. He was a man of integrity. He was hardworking. He was honest. He was reliable. He was trustworthy. You know, if he said yes, he meant it. If he said no, he meant it as well. <laughs> as well. And so that was a big influence on me growing up. So when I went to work, I worked hard. I tried to do my job well. And that has also, now with the cakes, I try to work with honesty, integrity. I bake with love always. I just, it's just, it's just natural. I, I, I love to be able to, be, to bake a cake and be part of someone's celebration. Um, but most importantly, it's about, it's always about God. It's that God connection, isn't it? Is, is, is his name being glorified? Is what I'm doing bringing honor and glory to him? And we have, you know, God, that, that spirit of excellence. Everything we do, we want to do it well. And that has been, it's been challenging for me on so. I'm just going to put the power. Yeah, so people, they see, what people see and what goes on behind the scenes are often so different. But I have to always be relying on God, always relying on him so that, um, you know, you know so that what, what I do ultimately brings honor and glory to him. So you, you, you have something on your page, I think I just read about, um, I think the power of influencing. 
Employment. Yeah. I think that's what you said, Paul. With it, I wanted you to expand on what you mean when you said cancelled. You said something about um, cancelled being rooted. Making sure the council is being rooted. That the council is being rooted in self. Isn't it? Did I did I misread you there? I think you, if we look at the world. Um, it's oftentimes about self, self empowerment, and you know believing in yourself and all this thing. And that, for, for for me as a Christian, to, what does it mean to believe? It's to believe means to trust, to cling, to rely on, to adhere to. So I can't cling, trust, rely, and adhere to myself. You know, I, I, I tried that for many years and it went miserably wrong. But now it's about you know, if it's, if it's not point, I point people to Christ always in terms of influence. I think even if I say Christ, my, everything about me, I pray is a, is, a, is a witness. And as I said, even if I do something wrong, to have that humility to say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that, and, 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 and work through, you know, with, with, with people. Um, so, yeah, it's not centered in self, it's centered in Christ. It's always Christ. I keep touching the screen because it keeps going dark. Okay. Um, Christ, everything that I do is Christ centered. Um, he is at the center of it all, and the the process that that, that God has chosen is it, really about it's about dying to self. It's know? about what? Dying to self. Dying to self. It's a must in this Christian walk to die to self, so that Christ can live in us, and that you know He can come forth through us and, and touch the lives of other people. So anything that is is rooted in self and 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 um, but that's what the world but the world would say even in the church now we're still here that whole you know this is how I feel this is what I think this is how I believe it this is you know there's a lot of eyes 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 yeah. and everybody else is you know you can easily say oh I will do a particular thing and this is me connecting to my inner self. And within my and 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 it all sounds beautiful, but I that's why that sounded that stood out for me when I read that in your on your post, because being things being rooted in self, I don't think we understand how dangerous the self is. Is when the self is elevated. Yeah, it is very dangerous because he is our sure foundation. Is to make sure that everything we do is rooted in him. And not rooted in ourselves because I, I don't know about anybody else i've let myself down miserably many times <laughs> you know when i even when i've taken my eyes off god and thinking i said to god once can i use my own wisdom for a moment you know because I didn't, <laughs> dangerous everything, everything i was saying he would say no 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 and i'm like can you not just say yes so i foolishly just went ahead <laughs> because when, when when he took me from my job and i didn't he said leave and I had to go through that process of self-denial and deny myself. And, you know, um, it's through suffering and affliction that we grow in our faith. We grow in the valley. We don't grow on mountaintops. It's in the valley that we grow. It's in the valley that I cried out to God. And it's in the valley that, you know, he showed me more and more who he is, you know. Um, and the mountaintop experiences are nice, but I say to people, it's in the valley, you know. So. And you do that. You do tell your story, um on your on your webs on your um, Instagram, why do you do that there on your? Because there's a story you're telling your. Why are you telling your story? Why do you feel the need that you 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 have to tell your story? And by the way, you tell your story beautifully. You do it with the images and the pictures, and you go back, and I'm like, you archive it really beautifully. So, I I think I am a very relational person very 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 relational my friend elijah will, who's been a big influence in my life um he will tell you that i am very relational and i think i talk to people as if they're there in my living room and we're just sitting having a, a, a drink and talking um i don't sh i haven't shared everything about my life there's a there's a whole lot you know i haven't shared um but i hope that what i have shared can bring some connectivity and it will resonate with someone and they will think, oh, yeah, I, I, I get that. I understand that. And so they know that I'm human, you know. Yeah. I, it's not always about, as I said, it's not always, it's not about, and as you've said, it's not about perfection. It's, it's the good, the bad, the ugly side. And there's been that ugly side of my character that God has been perfecting and refining for, you know, some time now, you know. And because the things, the issues of life, can they lie in our hearts. And, and when God comes in and he breaks us up, he has to, you know, he, he has to be that king of, of our life. And 
anything that's in us that is unlike him has to come out. So the more he pours in, the more of stuff that is unlike Christ comes out. And I didn't even know there were certain things in me until he orchestrated events. And, and I thought, whoa, did I say that? Whoa, did I do that? You know, he said, yes, because he's still got a... a, a there's, a bit, there's a bit of something that I shouldn't be there. And that, that, and that is the journey. Just when you think I have just passed that, that you know, exam, I've passed that position, I'm in a better place, and boom, something yeah. else comes, and you're schooled. And I, I, I like what I said about the stories because for me, I'm all about telling our stories. Yeah. And because that is really what the Bible tells us to do, to testify. And yeah. testifying is telling our stories. That is what the woman at the well did. She told her story. She yeah. told the people of what happened. It's really, that's just what it is. The, you know, the, the gospel is about men telling the story of their experience with Jesus and what happened and why and he, why he came. And that is what we're supposed to do is tell our stories in every form or fashion, in every way that we can. And I'm so grateful for the tools that we have. We have tools now that give us opportunity to tell our stories in any way we want to. Um, we have access, like you said, the hook or the access, the, 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 the conduit, the thing that causes people to flow towards you, you know, as a relationship is your cake business. And as you do the cake business, you do it with excellence and with grace. And there's always going to be a blessing on top of that because God will honor the, the things that you have, you know, the, the talents and the gifts and talents that he's given you, it is for a purpose, um, you know. So what would be your own advice? Um, what would be your practical? I know you already do that, but what would be your own advice to talk to other people in the marketplace about influencing and impacting? Um, what would be my advice to other people? I truthfully i am to see god he's always the, the, i know it might sound i might sound deeply spiritual here but <laughs> no it's not spiritual I, I, we, we are we agreed on that but i you know but for me it's like okay, how do we practicalize it how do we do this in the marketplace how how can we be practical because i'm I, for me it's like can we i want us to translate our faith and our faith work and how we we run kingdom and how we do kingdom yeah. And bring it into our everyday so that people don't separate it and say, oh, when we're dealing with kingdom stuff, it's only in the church, or it's only in this place, or it's only when we're doing that. No, it, it, it's, I want it in the common place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. It's impossible to separate me from my, my, my We are one, you know. So um, it's just living out my everyday life. Every day, it, it, anything, it could be the, the sun is shining, thank God. It could be it's raining, thank God we need the rain. You know, anything and everything that we do, is, it should be that sort of Christ-centered so that his name is glorified. I don't, I'm the sort of person that would talk to people at a bus stop or on a bus or people, or I'll be the person on the bus and somebody comes on the bus who maybe has had a few, you know, one too many to drink or has got perhaps a mental health problem and they come and sit next to me and I talk to them. I've got, there's a, there's a scheme at the end of my road for people who have got substance misuse and mental health problems at the more extreme end. And I know, I know the residents, some of the residents there, and one of them is not well mentally, and he always says, when I see him, he says, hello, you know, Jesus loves you. So now when I see him, I try and beat him to it. I say, hi, Jesus loves you. And he just smiles, you know. So, it, 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 you know, these are the people that Christ came for. He came for us all, but it's the people who are marginalised. I suppose that's where my passion really is, because I worked for nine years in Lambeth Housing, for Lambeth Housing, with vulnerable people, people with mental health problems, substance misuse, um, the whole range, physical disability, uh, young people who are having conflict at home, um, older people, that there was a whole range of, of, of people that I worked with. And I had a heart for my clients. Um, and I think, it, so whoever I come into contact with now is as, you know, as God leads, as God guides, to speak, to say something, to speak into someone's life, to do an act of kindness without even words. It can be that sometimes, you know. So it's just as God leads me. I, I can't, I don't, I'm not conscious of it because it's just who I am. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And, and, and I think that is where I'm going to. It should become natural. It shouldn't become an event. 
it shouldn't be um this is what you do these are the five steps of actually influencing your life is a lifestyle it's it's your lifestyle how do you so so it's it's about those things and about not separating your life and saying when when i'm around these people i don't speak about my faith or i don't speak about how my faith influences my decision or my opinions or my artwork or my creation um and 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 that's that's what you're saying what you're saying is very simple live the life just yeah. live the life um live the life in every in any in any space you're in um how, how you know some people say oh you know there are certain spaces you do not bring religion it's not about religion it's my relationship it's my life you're telling me to separate myself from myself how exactly. do you do that it's possible i say to people this other people allow everybody we live in a world where there's so much going on and people are loud and proud about what they believe i'm loud and proud too you're in my faith i'm in your faith too i'm not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ and, and i have no need to shrink to fit to anybody else's expectations this is who i am if you don't like even on my instagram account if you don't like it you, people can unfollow you know it's, it's not an issue for me it's not gonna, it's not gonna be And I think that's what it is. We are supposed to be in this liberal environment and people are not, you know, are not are not um, respectful of other people's choices and opinions. So I want I want I want you to you don't have to agree with me, but you are not going to shut me down. And and I think that's what we're saying. And that's really what my my passion and my move is. is that we become vocal and proud of who we are in every right. space. Right. No in Christ. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I am I am uh, it's a play on words there. But you know what I mean? It's like that in that space. So in any space we are I I I should be able to confidently speak on what is my source and what sustains me and what I operate from and the reason why um and not feel like i have to cower and not speak you know on that but yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you so really and truly really, you have said it to be a leader an influencer is to live your life especially an influencer in christ for christ you have to live it you can't like you say you cannot separate i can't separate andrea from christ we are one so when you meet me by the grace of god if they come into people come into contact with christ and that doesn't mean perfection either as i said before if i do something wrong it's to have the humility to say i'm sorry you know um and this is, as elijah just said don't be afraid of the cancel culture people say things that people don't like and they just want to cancel i'm like go ahead do what you have to do it's like it's not a thing for me because I'm you know it's about what God thinks so if, if people are not happy with what I do or what I say I I I I as long as I know that it's 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 quite centered you know Jesus offended a lot of people is there any other thing you would like to be doing that like you would like to take so what you want to do with your cake business is there anything else you want to expand it to or to doing would you like to have a little cafe cake cafe in the future and stuff like that um, I I originally thought that before the lockdown I was hoping to have like coffee mornings where I could maybe people who were a bit maybe felt lonely or isolated could come because that was my thing when I left my job I felt very I was very very I felt very lonely and isolated um but um then the lockdown came and God said you know he it's not that he changed he had to change my thinking and my plans you know because he had other plans and i say to people this that i'm doing the cakes for now but the cakes is preparation for the, a bigger ministry is what god has called me to do it's a bit like david david was tending sheep he was anointed king and then still tending sheep because tending sheep was preparation for leading leading the flock of israel leading god's people so what is that ministry exactly what is that ministry Well, I don't know the deep. This is the thing. God sometimes doesn't show us the bigger picture because we might run if He showed us the fullness of it. I probably would. Like, I don't want to do that. We need to talk. I don't want to do that. No. So um, it's just preparation for a bigger picture. I would certainly, you know, a lot of people, even in, in you know, want to be leaders. They want to be um, apostles. They want to be prophets. They want to. I have. No, I have no. I have no desire to be any of those. 
I was happy to support someone in their ministry, but me, myself, absolutely no way. So God, you know, he has a, a much bigger plan about the, taking the, the purity and the genuineness of the gospel, the, the genuine gospel, not, not the, I don't know, there's, there's, a, there's you know, taking the, the gospel of Christ and its purity to, to the nation. And doing the case is about service. It's about serving. It's about just service and, and going the extra mile and stretching and stretching and stretching and stretching and stretching. Uh, Matthew, Marisa said Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. I don't know verse 16 off the top of my head. I know Matthew chapter 5 very well, but not the... Put, put verse 16 so I know. So it is about... The, the cake ministry is, is, is preparation for a much bigger picture. That that God has got that He's prepared, and you're available, and you're available, and you're available for that, and that that's definitely something you're open and available for. I have, yeah, I've accepted His will. Um, you know, I'm a bit of a reluctant person, so I'm like, really, what do I want to do? That no, I'm not. As I said, I'm not the sort of person that wants to say, that wants to. I want to do this, and I want to do this for God, and no, nah, that's just not who I am. As I'm quite happy to serve and and so the, the cake ministry is all about serving and he stretched me the the, the, the but, that, stretched that, me. but that is christ's leadership is the servant leader leadership mm -hmm. that is the leadership that we really should be all focusing is the servant because if you have a heart to serve you have a heart to lead yes yes it's true you know. It, 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 and also, it was it's, it's taking me out of a comfort zone. It's, it's stretching me. I never baked professionally before. I had to upskill. I had, you know, I had issues of low self esteem, and and there's, you know, and God had to work on that. Even pricing a cake, I'm like, because if you don't, if you don't value yourself, then it's hard to put a value on what you do. And then women sure. in, in the it's also we're seen as the nurturers. We're not seen as, you know, in business and sure. stuff like that difficult for me to do that because of and i've not been professionally trained i'm self-taught so I just you keep on saying that but your cakes are fantastic they are awesome nobody nobody will believe that you're not professionally thought that's just like so let's not just we talk about the professionally just thought just just leave it you're a professional cake maker take it like that you've been certified from above end of <laughs> i thank god um so yeah it's, it's all, it's all like David. It's all preparation for, um, you know, serving and going out there into uh, what God has called me to do in the future. I don't know when that will be. I don't know how long I'm going to be. Did you feel, because for me, I, I've gone through stages where I just feel like, you know, people would think that you're not ambitious. So everybody feels like you have to be ambitious. But mm. somehow you just feel like I'm just available. Yeah. for what God wants to do. And it's very hard to communicate that to a lot of people because they just feel like, don't... I, yeah. but, but you see, but stuff is getting done. It's not like you're sitting back and fiddling your tongue. You're just no. doing things as well, you know. I think, I think we live in a society where you, just, you, you get status if you've got lots of followers, if you've got money you've got this great platform but I, I I actually don't follow celebrities in any way and I really don't I no no disrespect no I hope they're happy hope they're well but really and truly unless you're leading me to Christ then I think they should be following us as we follow Christ not and not I don't unless what is it you're bringing to me what is it I was outside any is there anything so I don't follow um I, I'm very careful who I follow in terms of Instagram. Things um, like, things I like. Think, um, I think that it is. It, it, it is God. He he often uses the, the insignificant. He often uses the the um, marginalised. He often uses people who don't have that kind of status in society, and to be just an ordinary cake maker from Loughborough Junction. I don't expect people to sort of you know think i've got anything to offer but i know who i am right. That's oh gosh one minute my window's open today's the day all sorts of things are happening what did you say eli andrea's cakes are it's all happening today praise god <laughs> um 
have you thought about mentorship? So I have like a mentoring program I do. And it's not something I talk about much. It's a very private one. So I only do like one or two people, two people at a go. But it's something that I kind of fell on. And, um, and I just realized that people, so is that something you think you can, you, you, you'll, something you'll, you can see yourself doing? mentoring other people because when we say mentoring people always feel because of the way the word is being used and what it it does right now for me i would say i am i am a, i'm a big sister i'm a friend and sometimes funny enough the two ladies that i'm speaking to at the moment and i'm talking with i'm working with one is considerably older than i am and then the other one is much younger than i am so it's, it's not really about age it's just about being available and being led and that's for me um so is that something that you can see yourself doing? I think uh, I think not in a, not in the way that you do it. It's, no, I think I mentor people anyway. I've been doing that for years. Not in a not in a formal capacity. Um, it's, it's, no, I can't see that unless God. Has but I think plan. we mentor. I think we mentor. I think those things are a lot of titles and 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 that's one of the major things that i'm talking about as mentors and and influencers is debunking those words it's really just to debunk those words of what we always think those words mean um we are all mentoring somebody or the other people are looking yeah. at us um and and i think because of that we should be conscious about our actions is what i say because someone is definitely yeah. watching you. Um, the decisions you're making is influencing somebody else. Um, you know, um, if you've been through a thing, you don't necessarily always have to be certified. There's things that you have experienced in your own life and you've come through. And I always see that if you can help another person come through what you've been through, you know, it has all those, all those names and tags put on it. Um, but those are what we are as believers are called to do, to mentor the world, to influence yes. the world. And, and then for me, that's really why I just wanted to take these words away and reown them and, and show those words in, in our everyday, in, in ministry, in music, in, in people that are in different careers, um, in, in people that are working on, 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 um, on uh, you know in the digital space and artisans you a craft person doing this that those words and those positions are kingdom positions those are kingdom words those are what we do as kingdom people we are mentors and we are influencers and we are sh and we should be conscious and responsible that we are kings and we are priests that comes with it a responsibility and we need to impact in every way. Um, Elijah says, as a Christian mentor, we ought to be helping people to find their true identity, the original, the destiny and purpose in Christ for such a time as like this. In Christ alone is our, ho is our hope found. Amen. And definitely with that, I think I can't even go any further with that. Thank you so much, Elijah, for finishing that up. Um, I really do appreciate you coming on and just having this chat and let's doing this. And like I said, this is why I wanted to, to have this chat, to just debunk those words about influencers and mentors um, who are leaders. Say what the word says. The word says we are the light of the world, you know, the sort of the earth. And so as influencers and mentors, it's underpinned by being the light of the world. And the logo for the cake ministry has a candle in it. it one, candles go on cakes, and two, there's a, a little flame at the top because it's linked to we are the light of the world, you know? Yeah. Um, purple is the color because of royalty, you know? So, um, yeah, it's more for me about, you know, us being... Um, the, yeah, the light of the world. The world right now for me and, and, and for those that can see is in darkness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate this. With with everything that has happened, regard regardless of everything that has happened, today's that day. Today really is that day. talking. Um, you know, it's just you know, it's just there's a, there's a 
we are we are called and we are we were created for worship. We were created for worship. And people, whatever, whatever, if God is not at the center of our lives, God with a capital G, as you know, and and, and as, as believers in Christ, then then idolatry can set in, and that can take that can manifest in all different ways. So he has to be at the center of our lives, you know, and, um, you know, the, the, everything it seems to be upside down. I can't wait for the outpouring of God to turn things right, right the right way. The out. outpouring is going to come from each and every single one of us stepping up and taking our position and being that light, like you said, and shining that light from within. So it is our responsibility. Yeah, there's, but in, if you from Genesis to Revelation in the Bible, in a time of crisis, there was always God would always raise up, oftentimes just one individual. There's the Jeremiah's, the Isaiah's, the prophets of old, to and they would have people in you know that would support them. But there was always a man, you know, or in in Ruth's case, a woman, you know, um, and you know, um, and Esther, you know, uh, uh, and Deborah, you know. But there's usually a man. So God would just have a that he will use. Um... But he says at this time, this is the time where he says he will pour out his spirit on all men, on all flesh, yes. on both male and female, on yes. the young and the old. Um, and, 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 and this is, that's why this is the time that he's pointed out on the young people, on the, ba on the little babes. And they are, you know, it's, it's just for us to just avail ourselves and speak up more and show up more. And like you said, show up not in only our perfection, show up in our imperfection. That way we're showing people the only reason I'm able to sustain myself to get better is because of who I follow and to lead people to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, thank you so much, so much, so much. I really, really appreciate it. With everything that has happened today, it's just been it's just been one thing or the other. I mean, from three days ago, I was yesterday, day for yesterday was first a fever, then it was a headache, then it was a this. This morning, I was like, you know, so I I, I bless God because it's like we said, we don't know who needed to hear something. We don't know what was said today that would was for a specific person. And mine is that it touches and it reaches that person either now in the life or when it's going to be repeated and replayed. That that is the whole mission that God is glorified in our lives, through our life, and you know, and with the words we say and how we testify of Him, and using every tool that we have, be it social media, be it baking, be it whatever. Um, but you know, thank you so much, sis. Really, really do appreciate it. It's been one of those days, but we thank God. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Um, You're very welcome. Yeah, no, it, it, it was nice just to to have this conversation, and I hope that you know, for the, anyone that's watching, that you know, um, kind of resonated with them and was interesting for them, and to see another side of us both really you know because on my cake side I tend to stick to more to the cakes and then on the ministry messenger side it's more about me and my faith but you know on the cake side there's still the, the faith is still running through that because as you say it cannot cannot be separated and I think you're quite right you know that um we do need to speak out more we do need to stand up for who we are and what we believe more you know and um yeah, I think that's really important. But it's it's something that's done in love, with compassion and and you know just yeah. The only reason the only reason we're speaking up is because we found a good thing and we want everybody else to partake in that good thing. It is out of love. It is not out of it is not out of you know anything else but love, and it is a command. And it is a command it's, it for is us. Quite... To, it is a command. So um, so yeah. Let's 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 speak up more. I just want us to speak up more on every platform and every sphere. Just speak up more and show up more um, in every way, in every different facet and of ways. Just do, just show up um, and be, you know, be bold enough. And the only boldness we're going to get is through the Holy Spirit. And we can't be bold until we step out 
if we're not stepping out, there's nothing following us. And the, the Holy Spirit just stood there watching. You've not, you've not given me anything to impact. You've not given me anything to, to, to go through. You've not given me anybody to speak to. You haven't created a platform for me to, to commit, you know, to, to, um, to communicate to, and that is what the Holy Spirit is. He's the communicator, the executor um, of, of, the, of God. And, and if we do not create the space, then, then there's nothing for him to do. Um, so we thank God. And, 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 and when we step out in faith, then he's that, you know, he then moves, you know, he just, or oh, sometimes, Sometimes stand still, stand still and see whatever he says. No, he says, even, if he's even if we're standing still, we're standing still for something. Maybe something is coming to meet us at that spot. But there yeah. has to be um, a leaning on and, a, and, a, and a, because we have to be led by the spirit. It has, there has to be a leading. Yeah. If, if that, and that is what I, yeah. that is what I talked about being leaders and influencers. So if we are influenced by our, our lifestyle is influenced by the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not a mini God or a third God, it is pure God. We can still say, we can use another way and say, being led by God. Full stop. He is, you know, he's a, he's part of the Godhead. He's just the executing part of the Godhead, but he's the Godhead. Um, and that is what we are influenced and we should be influenced by and led by. And only he will tell us what we need to do, but make yourself available. So make yourself available, people. <laughs> everyone that jumped on as well. And, Sorry? Um, yeah. So thank, thank you to everyone that joined in as well. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much, Elijah, for your comments. And thank you to, um, there was another lady. Um Yes, it was, it was, it was Anne-Marie and then there was Ice Pack for, is it Ice Pack Transformation? Um, Harriet, thank you so much as well for showing up. And I will say this was supposed to be my last one, but I think I've got one or two more people coming up. God will lead me and we will continue talking. So just let's keep the conversation going. God bless you. Have a good year. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.